All right, today I'm going to be testing if suction cups work in a vacuum chamber. So how a suction cup works is that you push it onto a surface and you push and you get the air bubble out of there and then when you release it, it stays stuck to the wall. And the reason that happens is because you push the air out of there and so you no longer have equal pressures on the inside and the outside. So the outside pressure keeps it pushed against the wall. Even if you try to pull it off, see with pretty good force I'm trying to pull this and I can't get it off because this surface area is pretty big and the atmospheric pressure is putting a good force on it and so I can't pull it off the chamber. But if you were to remove this atmospheric pressure, you should see this just fall off the wall because there's no force holding it against the wall. So first I'm going to get my suction cup stuck all over my chamber here. So I've got an assortment of large ones, small ones, so we can see if there's a difference in how these act in the vacuum chamber. Okay, you can see these are all firmly stuck to the back here. I'm running my fingers along them, they're not going anywhere. So we'll see if they actually pop off the chamber once it's under vacuum because I'm not sure if they're just kind of sticky enough just from being plastic on plastic that it will stay stuck to the chamber a little bit so they won't fall off. So we'll see what happens under the vacuum. Okay, let's see suction cups in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. We're at around 0.6 atmospheres. They're still stuck on there. Oh, that one already fell. <laughs> oh, they're starting to come off. We're still at 0.4 atmospheres and they're already popping off. We're at 0.2 atmospheres. There they go. We're at 0.1 atmospheres. We got a little more than half of them still on. Oh, they're dropping. So I'm guessing what's holding them on is just that they were stuck to the chamber a little bit just with the plastic. Oh, they're coming off now. <laughs> so we're getting close to our maximum vacuum here and they're dropping off. <laughs> Let's see which one hangs on the longest. So of course, if these had any weight on them at all, they would have fallen long ago. But these are just under their own weight. It looks like they're able to still stay stuck there. I bet if I gave it any type of shake, they'd fall off. Okay, it looks like we got one, two, three, four, five survivors here. All the rest dropped. So again, I think this is just plastic on plastic sticking together. Oh, we lost another one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna let the air back in with these guys that stayed on here. See if it stays stuck to the chamber. Also, we should see it suction back against the chamber. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> see it suck against the chamber again. <laughs> Okay, and they're on there just as hard as ever now. Okay, it bugged me that these four stayed on here, so I put some weights on them. I just added some forks on the hooks on them. So there should be enough weight to easily pull them off under a vacuum, so it won't matter whether there's a small physical 
bonding happening between the two plastics. Okay, the remaining four in a vacuum chamber. Three, two, one. <laughs> These three are still hanging on there. We're at 0.1 atmospheres. Oh, there they go. Strongest one, still hanging on. We did it. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching another episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're not subscribed yet, consider subscribing and you can give me some ideas in the comments section with what you'd like to see me do next time and I'll see you next time.